Hello Crypto Sister community, before we get started, just a quick reminder that this video is not financial advice, I'm not financial advisor, so make sure you always do your own research before making any investment decisions, so let's get started. Alright, so today's theme is UPCX. Basically, UPCX is an open source decentralized payment network that is designed to make blockchain payment very simple, fast, and user friendly for everyone. Instead of clunky and slow transactions, UPCX actually offers near instant payments with low fees, named accounts you can choose like an email address and familiar methods like NFC, QR codes, and scheduled payments. It even supports online payments, non-custodial escrow, and multi-signature security which makes it feel like the next generation version of trading banking but also empowered by blockchain now let's go into the latest news and why this project is getting so much attention upcx has just signed a major memorandum of understanding with paykel and ntt digital a part of the global ntt docomo group so this is a big step forward because it connects upcx to japan one of the leading web3 markets with over 12 million verified crypto users so the collaboration is not just about research it's about real world use Paykel brings strong technical expertise in blockchain and cryptography, so it's helping UPCX improve its SDKs and APIs for high-frequency payments like retail and cross-border transactions. So at the same time, NTT Digital provides market power, which is using its global telecom network to push UPCX adoption with financial institutions and exchanges. Now, what makes UPCX stand out is its technology. It can process up to 100,000 transactions per second with one second confirmations. So it's far beyond what most blockchains can handle. Gas fees are very minimal, cross-chain transfers with Ethereum are already possible through UPCX Bridge, and the system supports stablecoin issuance, custody, recurring payments, and even privacy-focused transactions. So you can see it's not just a blockchain, it's a very complete Web3 toolbox for payments and finance. The time of this MO is also important. UPCX launched its minute early in 2025 and it's listed on Japan's Bitrate Exchange, which is showing that it's serious about regulatory compliance. Competing with big names like Solana and Ripple is very tough, but this partnership gives UPCX the credibility and market access that it needs to scale. So in short term, UPCX gains visibility and trust with NTT's endorsement, which is acting like a stamp of approval. In the long term, this actually positions UPCX to move from being an emerging player to becoming an infrastructure lever powering cross-border payment, DeFi and real-world finance. So for investors, this collaboration signals that UPCX is not just an experimenting anymore, it's heading toward mainstream adoption with long technical backing and access to a major global market. So this blog post and recent news article actually highlight how this step could accelerate UPCX ecosystem and investment value. So if the team delivers on everything that they plan, UPCX could turn into one of the strongest payment focused blockchains, which is bridging the gap between traditional finance and Web3. So if you want to stay updated with the latest news and announcements, make sure you check them out. And that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching Crypto Sister Community, and I'll see you in the next video.